It's that pre-summer game fest season, meaning that we learn about a ton of big upcoming game events. One has been revealed and the other one has leaked, so let's go over that. Xbox has big plans as well. We got an interesting new game reveal and way, way more gaming news to go over. So let's go. Let's start with the big rumor that Sony is doing a PlayStation Showcase in May, as reported by journalist Jeff Grubb, who has been right many times before. And the timing totally makes sense. Last year's Showcase was also in May, and near the end of the month, actually. So I'm expecting something similar here. And I hope it's better this time around, because the only big first-party titles we saw last year were live service games. We had the Space PvP FPS Concord that should be out in 2024, Bungie's Marathon and Fair Games from Haven Studio. We have not heard anything from these games since, so high chance we get an update at this show. But yeah, we really need to see some big single player games from PlayStation Studios because next to Death Stranding 2 and Wolverine, we don't really know what's happening and Wolverine is 2026. So I don't expect to see it here. Ghost of Tsushima 2 is a very safe bet though. The PC version will launch on May 16th. So to have the sequel announcement one or two weeks later is perfect. But I hope that that's not the final announcement. Kind of the one more thing. I hope they start with that and then really have like something surprising at the end. Like seeing the new IP that Cory Barlock has been working on since God of War 2018. As he only had an advisory role on Ragnarok would be really awesome or a glimpse at Naughty Dog's new single player title that's likely a new IP. Like they've been working on something for at least three years. And what are the 2024 PlayStation 5 exclusives for the rest of the year? We know that there are no new major existing PlayStation franchise titles planned before April 2025. So no title that will sell like 10 million in a few months like a Ragnarok or Spider-Man 2. But that does not rule out smaller PlayStation games like a new Astro Bot is rumored for this year and maybe the new IP from Bluepoint, the Dark Souls remake creators is also ready to be shown. In terms of third party games, the Silent Hill 2 and Metal Gear Solid 3 remake both are planned for 2024 so makes sense to show up. Just like the Phantom Blade Zero game that kind of stole the show last year, would be awesome to see it again. And Capcom is always present at the Sony press conferences so showing more of Monster Hunter Wilds makes sense. Unless Sony finally plans to reveal the Horizon Online project that has us fight robot dinosaurs together. Seems to be pretty similar to Monster Hunter, so I don't think they will both be in the same show. I want to do a big predictions video, of course, when it's officially announced, but one final prediction. Okay, two, for one, I don't think we will see the PlayStation 5 Pro here that should be coming out this year. I think they will save it for like an August or September event, but I do think they show and maybe even release the first Spider-Man 2 DLC that should be free and where we fight the Beetle. This was leaked and also found in the new update thanks to a dev menu that slipped in with the patch. High chance we see it in the coming months. Let me know what you hope to see at the PlayStation Showcase in the comments down below. And subscribe again I will do a prediction video. And will of course keep you posted in these gaming news roundup videos that I post every Sunday. Leaving a like would also help me out. So thanks for that. And yes, we got a brand new game reveal from ex-Bioware creative director on Dragon Age and a lot of ex-Ubisoft Quebec people who, for example, worked on Syndicate. They started a new studio in February 2020, so now for four years they've been working on Eternal Strands that, yes, looks a lot like Immortals, of course, also from Ubisoft Quebec, but with a lot of gameplay elements from Shadow of the Colossus and Breath of the Wild. We play a weaver named Bryn who can use magical abilities like grab enemies or things in the environment environment to throw them at other targets, eyes attacks that you can use to create bridges or in combat to slow down your opponent. And you get these abilities from defeating one of the massive 25 meter high apexes. There are 9 of them in total and they roam the world, meaning that you can decide where you fight them and you can use this to your advantage. Like in the gameplay they showed, we see the big arc of the forge boss that uses fire, so fighting it in a forced area will set everything ablaze very easily. So it's smarter to, for example, fight in a cave where things cannot easily catch fire. Weather also plays a role with the draw period, enhancing the attacks from the boss, while waiting for a flash freeze period means that the power of the boss is reduced. I really like the dash ability they showed here to immediately climb the boss. I hope there's a quick way to switch between these abilities though, 
Right now we see like an ability wheel, but like a shortcut would be nice. But overall for all the footage, I think it already looks pretty great. So totally keeping an eye out. So let me know what you think. The SS Creed Syndicate composers, by the way, working on the soundtrack for this. And it should be out in 2025. Hopefully it won't get overshadowed by all the other 2025 releases. But Ubisoft luckily has some big 2024 games planned with SS Creed Red and a Star Wars Outlaws. With that open world Star Wars game, by the way, getting a rating of for the third time and now in Brazil once again showing that it's probably close to being done although it probably won't launch before June 10th as that is when the Ubisoft Ford stream will take place on a Monday just like last year you maybe already saw it but I already did a video on what to expect from Assassin's Creed Red there link to it in the video description and again expect Star Wars Outlaws as well with the release date and as I said on the weekly podcast I do with Luke Stevens you can find it on Spotify for example it's called Free Roam I would not be surprised if we saw the Splinter Cell remake that has been in the works since 2021. With Mauro Anel spotting that the Ubisoft Toronto Facebook account just changed their banner to the iconic goggles, hinting at the fact that something is happening soon. I can see like a January 2025 date for this game. So those three titles would already be pretty big. Combine that with Prince of Persia The Lost Crown Story DLC. We know is dropping this year. We still get Avatar DLC. And what is up with The Division Heartland? The free to play more survival extraction game that keeps getting delayed. I hope for all the fans that X Deviant is already out before June 10th. Now we know the new Ghost Recon game is 2025. So I think they will save it for next year. Just like Far Cry 7. Although we might see the multiplayer spin-off they plan to launch before the single player open world. And I hope there are some surprises. Again, I will do more digging and make a prediction video when we get closer to the June 10 date. Let me know what you want to see, of course, in the comments down below. And well, one of the surprises seems to be that the Dead Cell developer is releasing a new Prince of Persia game in Steam Early Access with the name Rogue Prince of Persia. And this should be a new roguelite title that should receive constant free updates and evolve over time based on community feedback. Now Dead Cells was of course a side-scrolling metroidvania just like The Lost Crown so you would think that this rogue Prince of Persia title is going to be different right? I can see them maybe trying to be more like Hades. The art style should at least be quite different first The Lost Crown with it being inspired by Franco-Belgian comics like The Adventures of Tintin. It has been in development for the last four years and again the game is targeting an early access release on Steam later this year. Year, which might also mean that more Ubisoft games are returning to Steam. Like would be big if Assassin's Creed Red of course launches day one. While titles like Valhalla and Far Cry 6 skip the platform for launch. So yeah, Rogue, Prince of Persia, probably a reveal at Summer Game Fest. And we know that Xbox will of course also be doing big things in June. They are mostly the day before Ubisoft with their show. And this year we know that they will of course show Avowed, Indiana Jones but also reveal some brand new games. With the big one seemingly being Gears 6, at least according to Jeff Grubb, but also Tom Warren from The Verge said that he heard this as well. Gears 5 is now almost 5 years old, so this makes sense. And we this week had previews for Hellblade 2, talking about the insane visuals. People who played it also seem to like the new combat, which is great to hear. It is only kept at 30 FPS on the Xbox consoles though, while on PC you can reach 60. But apart from that, the previews sounded very promising. So it seems like a few weeks after that release, Xbox is going to blow us away again with another insane looking Unreal Engine 5 title. Like The Coalition was actually the studio responsible for that Unreal Engine Matrix demo that was really awesome and they also showed a cinematic demo back in April 2022 and this already gave away some Gears vibes so maybe this was a tease for what Gears 6 will look like although I would imagine that it looks even better now looking at how far the Unreal Engine has evolved in the last few years. Also looking recently at Marvel 1943 for example. So it really seems that we got some great stuff to look forward to at the end of May and June. This coming week though, it's still kind of the quietness before the storm. Maybe we get an Assassin's Creed Mirage update, although don't expect too much from it. IGN will drop more Eternal Strands, gameplay and info. And any big gaming news will of course be covered in the Sunday video at the end of the week. So subscribe to not miss it. A like on the video would really help me out. And check out that Assassin's Creed Red video if you haven't watched it yet by clicking on the screen. I will speak to you very soon. Goodbye.